Icicle's damage greatly scales with dexterity. Dex also has the added benefit of improving dodge rate, so it's a win-win there. Another high-value offensive stat for the build is bow attack speed, as it will improve your trigger rate and make your gameplay smoother. You won't need much critical strike chance thanks to the critical weakness applied with every hit, but you can never get enough of critical strike multiplier. You will also need a decent bit of mana regeneration to sustain the constant stream of triggered icicles, they are pretty demanding in that regard. Defensively, you should focus on crit avoidance, the before-mentioned dexterity, health, and resistances. To improve mobility, adding some movement speed is also a great idea. Throne of Ambition is the best possible idol for this build. As for other idols, large shadow idols are great, as they can be used to improve your damage while wielding a bow. You should have four of these with the mentioned affix and additional resistances or health. To fill up the remaining slots, you should use any small idols with increased health and missing resistances. Rogue's basic passive tree offers very potent bonuses. Swift Assassin improves your attack speed, so you can proc your icicles quicker. Evasion increases your dodge rating, but also provides very strong damage reduction as long as you keep moving. Agility grants you a chance to get haste buff which improves your movement speed, and increases your damage based on the amount of movement speed you have. Dodge and parry is a very important passive that grants you a chance to receive a glancing blow, which reduces the damage you take by 35%. Marksman's skill tree offers a great mix of defensive and offensive modifiers that will allow you to unlock the full potential of Reign of Winter. A large portion of your icicle damage comes from this passive tree. Draining Arrows grants you amazing sustain and improves your attack speed. Focus Fire grants you a bit of dexterity and reduces the chance of dodge on rare and unique enemies you hit. Wound Maker is a very important passive that allows you to stack critical vulnerability on your enemies. It improves your chance to critically strike them drastically after just a few hits. Heightened Senses passive is taken to improve your damage even further, but also to deny your enemies from scoring critical strike on you. Concentration and its connected nodes grant you a concentration buff, which grants you increased damage, dodge rating, and movement speed, which fades out for a few seconds once you get hit. Covering Fire generates Silver Shroud buff every 10 seconds, which gives you a 100% chance to dodge incoming hit. Death from Afar gives you a decent amount of Armor Shred chance, which significantly improves your damage in long fights. Perfect Aim not only improves your damage, but it also gives you a lot of health every time you make a critical strike. Master Archer increases the range of detonating arrow explosion, which improves your clear speed substantially. Blade Dancer passives offer yet another source of glancing blows chance via the Cloak of Shadows passive. The Pursuit passive is much less important, as it grants just a bit of movement speed once you spend 5 points on it. You can also entirely skip that passive in favor of something else. Detonating Arrow is the main skill you will be using with this build to trigger the icicles. It causes you to shoot an arrow that attaches to the first target it hits and detonates after a short delay. The main focus of this specialization tree is to make the detonating arrow hit as many targets as possible. Barrage is an important passive as it completely removes the delay and transforms the area of the explosion into a cone shape. Thanks to the arcing blast you will create chaining tendrils when it explodes. All hits caused by the tendrils can trigger the icicle. Weak spot is another source of critical vulnerability chance, while also improving your critical strike multiplier. The shift is an movement skill that allows us to teleport a short fixed distance in the target direction. It's the main mobility skill of the Rogue class and is primarily used to quickly move around the map and dodge incoming attacks. Thanks to the Shadow Recuperation and Breathing technique you will be healed by a decent amount every time you use a shift. Additionally, the Rebound passive causes its cooldown to be reset if a single hit takes more than 50% of your total health. Momentum grants you a lot of movement speed for a few seconds after you use this skill. Shadow Slip is a very powerful passive that grants you total invulnerability while using Shift, making it one of the best defensive tools in the game if you time it well. If that's not enough, you will gain an insane amount of dodge rating for a short duration thanks to the elusive Notable. Sleight of Hand automatically throws shurikens at your enemies, 
which is very useful once you invest enough points into that skill tree. Shurikens by default is a very simple skill that causes you to throw three sharp shurikens at your enemies to deal damage. In this build, you will be using this skill mainly to avoid incoming damage, as Acrobatics Notable adds a short backflip when you activate this skill. Blade Shield significantly changes the behavior of your shurikens, as now they will form a circle around you instead. Stagger immobilizes enemies foolish enough to get close to you, making it a very good crowd control ability. This ability throws a fake decoy that focuses the attention of nearby enemies on itself and explodes shortly after. This amazing skill allows you to avoid many dangerous situations or give you the opportunity to burst your opponents. Sonic detonation and harrowing noise cause deploying the decoy to apply fear, armor shred, and frailty stacks on nearby enemies. With the backup buddy notable, you will store additional charges so you can quickly deploy a second decoy when the first one runs out. Ambush grants you an additional critical strike multiplier based on the amount of dodge chance you have when the decoy disappears. Try to synchronize it with the dodge buff from your shift ability to maximize this bonus. With this ability, you drop a smoke bomb at your location which applies blind and lowers the critical strike chance of nearby enemies. Use it in dangerous situations to stay alive. Escape Tactics adds a short backflip on use, allowing you to dodge incoming abilities with style. Enfeeblement applies frailty to affected enemies to make them even weaker. Moonlight Bomb grants you a stack of Silver Shroud which gives you a 100% chance to dodge one incoming attack per stack. Cleansing Steam removes any negative ailments affecting you when you initially use this skill. Shrouded in Darkness makes staying inside the smoke extra safe as it will grant you a stacking buff that improves your dodge and a chance to receive Glancing Blow. The timeline of the Black Sun offers you multiple powerful blessings. You should choose one of the following, Void Resistance, Health, or Critical Strike Multiplier. In the Age of Winter, the chance to shred Cold Resistance on hit is the single best modifier you can get from Blessings. With this build's attack speed, you can stack it to 20 with no problem at all. Spirits of Fire timeline can get you plenty of defensive options. Grab increased armor, endurance, or fire resistances depending on your needs. You can also get the dodge rating but it's the least desirable blessing here. The Reign of Dragons timeline has very powerful blessings to choose from. All resistances and crit avoidance are both great choices, take the one you need more. Ending the Storm's blessing that grants lightning resistance is a solid choice if you lack it on your gear. Otherwise, try to get the increased cold damage one. We hope you found the video informative. We would love to hear your opinions in the comments. Have a great day and see you next time.